In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, uh, I want to welcome all of you to the Cathedral of the Holy Cross for this holy hour. During the entire night in various cathedrals throughout the country, holy hours have been celebrated, and ours is the last one today as we prepare for this day of the virtual March for Life. And I thank you for your presence here today as we join our prayers to those of our brothers and sisters all over the world, praying in thanksgiving for the gift of life and to renew our commitment to the gospel of life. Let us pray. O God, source of all life and goodness, you fashion human lives in your image and likeness, and through your love, give each human life dignity, sanctity, and priceless worth. Awaken in every heart new reverence for the least of your children, and renew among your people a readiness to nurture and sustain your precious gift of human life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He rose again on the third day, ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the dead, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. When Jesus was baptized, the voice of God the Father cried out, This is my beloved Son, hear him. May we who have been baptized into his death grow each day in holiness as we seek to build a culture of life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery the wedding feast at Cana. At Cana, his mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. In living out the gospel of life, may we always follow the example of Mary and remain united to Christ 
the source of eternal life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, this day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Jesus proclaimed repentance and the kingdom of God. May our efforts on behalf of life always begin with conversion of heart and gratitude for the gift of God's mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray pray for us sinners, now now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother Mother of God, God, pray pray for us sinners, now now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. The apostles were awed by the transfiguration of Christ. May our souls be transformed each day by the luminous light of Christ so that we can be effective messengers of the gospel of his life and love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, sins, save us from the fires of hell. Bring all souls to heaven, especially those of most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist. In the institution of the Eucharist, Christ continued the saving work of his incarnation. May we, who have the privilege of receiving the real presence of his body and blood, be united in communion with him and all members of his body. May our unity and love help transform our culture as we see the face of Christ in the poor, the vulnerable, the unborn, and the marginalized. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall all be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. save, save us, us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry for banished children of Eve, to thee we send up our sighs, mourning we in this valley of tears. Grant we see to thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may meditate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. I have invited uh, Dr. Carrie Pound to uh, share with us some of her reflections today. Carrie uh, is married to Peter Pound, who was formerly a member of our Archdiocesan Pastoral Council. And Carrie and Peter are parents to four children. She works as a, at a pediat pediatric hospital a, and is, in addition, serving patients via My Catholic Doctor Telemedical Service. She is passionate about sharing the beauty and practical applications of the teachings of John Paul II and the theology of the body to teens and preparing couples for marriage. She is a pro-life advocate and serves on the board of Mass Citizens for Life as well as the Merrimack Pregnancy Center. And we are grateful for this opportunity to hear her personal testimony as a Catholic mother and physician dedicated to the cause of life. Thank you. It's an honor to be here this morning. As all of you, I find myself living in a strange time in the state of Massachusetts where a law to expand access to abortion was passed on the Feast of the Holy Innocents, a day marking the historic slaughter of innocent babies. Few realize the irony. A time in which the phrase reproductive justice completely ignores the other person involved in a pregnancy. Oftentimes I feel like this is the wrong place and the wrong time for me. We live in a time during which the word dignity has been hijacked to promote doctors killing patients. I went into medicine to support life and when necessary to enter into the suffering of my patients to offer relief or at least compassion and comfort. I entered a profession that recognized the worth of the human person and took an oath to do no harm. And yet some fellow physicians actively lobby and support legislation that would do exactly the opposite. Oftentimes I feel like this is the wrong profession and the wrong work for me. We live in a time when educators, media, and society profess our sexuality as little else than cheap form of entertainment, requiring only consent and multiple forms of barriers and hormones to ensure safety, debasing us all in our most intimate personhood. They deny our being created as fundamentally male and female, this beautiful distinctness that offers us a glance into the Trinity. They reject the reality of our differences as men and women in the name of tolerance or inclusion or equality and then wonder why our relationships are so destructive and deformed. Oftentimes, I feel like this is the wrong society for me. Our culture has rejected God and with it an understanding of the sanctity of life from conception until natural death. The inherent dignity of the person, regardless of abilities or age or status, 
We've lost that knowledge that we are all broken and we are all sinners, and yet we are all loved and offered a sea of mercy by our Creator. We've ignored the truth that love involves self-sacrifice, self-gift, and willing the good of the other. Should I be surprised then that as Archbishop Chaput coined, I feel like a stranger in a strange land? Should I be surprised that my understanding of the human person as embodied spirit is out of step with the materialistic view of person in my profession? Should I be shocked that the teachings of John Paul II in Theology of the Body sound like foreign language to those so invested in casual sex as entertainment? Of course not. Jesus explained this is exactly how we would feel if we were following close at his feet. He told us, narrow is the gate and difficult is the way that leads to life. He made it clear that we would feel as foreigners in our own culture. But we who cling to Christ, who have decided to follow this narrow way, are, as John Paul II said, called to a fullness of life that far exceeds the dimensions of this earthly existence because it consists in sharing the very life of God. It is a call to life and love and light and its fruits are joy and peace and gentleness and understanding. In order to remain close to him, the Lord has offered us himself in the Eucharist and in the sacraments in which we can receive and grow in grace and relationship. He offers us the church, the body of Christ, sinners and saints striving together to run the race as long as we have courageous leaders who know the course and who are willing to lead. He leads us scripture to hear his voice and his steadfast love and because of all these blessings, we remain children of God, following him and walking in the light. But for those who do not know the Lord, the way is very different. Imagine into this landscape of secularity and sadness, a young woman facing an unplanned pregnancy. Perhaps she's been working towards a college degree, doing everything right. And suddenly, the deceptions of casual intimacy are exposed. She is alone. The house of cards, the lies of responsible and safe relationship collapse. It wasn't supposed to be like this. She feels like she is in the wrong place, in the wrong body. The solution offered by the world sounds reasonable, considering all that may be lost. Maybe relationships, opportunities, education, maybe more. The solution of darkness and death look appealing when you've never met the source of light and life. The solution to just get rid of it strikes her intellect as rational. And yet, something in her heart changed the moment she saw the second line on that pregnancy test appear. Into this vulnerable heart, we as disciples must enter in love and mercy to introduce her to the source of life, committing ourselves to work for life, helping at pregnancy centers, praying at abortion facilities. We must walk with scared and lonely women in unplanned pregnancies and offer them solutions of love and hope, caring for both spiritual and the very real physical and practical needs. Now imagine an elderly gentleman. He suffers from dementia. He is increasingly confused. He is indeed a stranger in every place, frequently not recognizing his family or his surroundings. He is profoundly alone. The world would like to offer him death. But we must offer him love and companionship. Into his suffering heart, we must enter to be with him, to sit with him, to read with him, to share life with him, and to all those suffering near the end of life. 
to these lonely and confused and suffering souls, we can offer them exactly what Christ offers us, himself. Because into this messy world came a baby. The creator of the universe broke into our world and embraced our humanity and our brokenness. On the feast of the Annunciation, we celebrate the actual moment of incarnation, the day that Mary offered her great fiat, her yes, the Lord of the universe humbled himself and became human, fully human as a single cell, because that is how we all start life. He offered us himself, he who is truth and love and freedom. He gave us the power to become children of God. We live this same sacrificial love when we give of ourselves, often uncomfortably, entering the woundedness and the confusion of another, introducing them to Christ, praying with them, reading scripture with them, understanding and providing for their very real and practical needs, to meet them where they are, to show them a different way, a way that embraces life. Jesus warned us the way ahead wouldn't be easy. We will be persecuted and insulted and offered the cross. But we will walk in faith and with hope. When the, world, when the way becomes challenging, Jesus asks, Will you leave too? Will you turn towards the easy solutions of darkness and death? And we must answer as Peter proclaims, Lord, to whom should we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. In our journeys as those who stand up for life from conception to death, we can expect persecution and loneliness. We are not made for this world, but we are indeed made for a time such as this. We can demonstrate to the world what it means to know the outpouring of Christ's love when we pray outside an abortion facility, when we open our homes to women in unplanned pregnancies, or courageously speak up for life in our workplace or social gatherings. Because as St. Paul reminds us, we are afflicted in every way but not crushed. We are perplexed but not driven to despair. We are persecuted but not forsaken, struck down but not destroyed. And we must live in such a way so as to remind those suffering that this is what it means to walk with Christ and embrace life. Thank you. from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are not you more important than they? Can any of you by worrying add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wildflowers grow. They do not work or spin. 
But I tell you that not even Solomon in all his glory was arrayed as one of these. If God so clothes the grass of the field which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, O ye of little faith? So do not worry and say, What are we to eat? What are we to drink? Or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you besides. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, this beautiful passage from the Sermon on the Mount is where Jesus is telling us to trust in God's loving providence that clothes the lilies of the field and provides for the birds of the air. In our quest to promote the gospel of life, we must not be discouraged by the opposition that we experience from the world of media, politics, or Hollywood. The church's social gospel is very coherent and embraces all aspects of the defense of human life. Historically, the persecution of the church was directed at our theological doctrines about the Trinity, the Incarnation, transubstantiation. But in today's world, those who attack the Catholic Church attack us because of our teachings on the dignity of the human person made in the image and likeness of God and our teachings on the sacredness of life and family. The church's stance on social justice, which includes all stages of life from conception to natural death, is a prophetic message. We must live lives that are coherent so that we will be worthy to witness to this message in our lives. The Lord be with you. With your My dear friends, let us confidently make known our needs to our Heavenly Father, who always hears our prayer with tenderness and love. For the Church, that we renew our commitment to faithfully live out the fullness of the gospel of life in joy, solidarity, and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country and our elected officials, that guided by the grace of God, division and uncertainty will give way to united efforts in support of human dignity and the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who observe this day of prayer and witness to life, that we take this time before the Eucharistic Lord to give thanks for the gift of life and to grow in holiness, wisdom, and hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In appreciation for all medical personnel and first responders who have worked so selflessly throughout the COVID-19 pandemic to preserve and protect human life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who will die today, that as they pass from this earthly world, they may enter into heavenly communion with the Lord of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our creator, Lord and redeemer of mankind, we give thanks to you who alone have the power to impart the breath of life as you form each of us in our mother's womb. You alone have the power to forgive sins against human life and to heal the wounds caused by our sins. Grant the prayers we have placed before you and grant that we, your children, will place all our trust in your divine mercy so that the world and all its inhabitants may be saved. Through Christ our Lord, amen. 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 Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. You have given them bread from heaven. Having all sweetness within, let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, 
Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Salve Regina. Mater misericordiae, vita dulcedo, et ves nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules fili eve, a te suspiramos, gementes et plentes, in ad lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesu, benedictum fructum ventris tui, no be post hoc exilium ostende. 